Sorry. That's all right. Uh, whenever you're ready. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, yeah. That's okay. Take your time. <laughs> <Go ahead. laughs> yep. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Can I start over? Yeah. No. Just keep going. Uh, just. I'm not. It's recording, but I'm not counting time until you start. The his will be the time. Okay. No one is special. You're not special. You're not special. And did your did your mom ever tell you that you're special? Yeah. Well, sorry to break it to you, but she's wrong. And to be fair, I'm not special either. But everyone is unique. There is only one of you in this entire world. Everyone is unique in their own way, and that is something everyone should embrace. I can prove this to you through an introduction by my fellow classmate, Max Hayes. Let me give you a general overview of Max. His family, which includes his parents, his older sister, his older brother, are from Lake Forest, Illinois. He's majoring in communications, and he chose this field because he made the admirable decision not to narrow himself down to just one occupation. His main plans for the future are to work in a corporation, and he strives towards a leadership position in a company. Max always knew that he wanted to come to Southern California for college, and Pepper and I turned out to be the best place for him in terms of the location, the weather, and the similarity of Pepper and I to his, his own high school. Now, obviously, there's a lot more to Max than just these simple facts. For example, when he was six years old, he had one of those bowl cuts that mm. was like tragic, uh, not ugly. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he had one of those bowl cuts. And his older brother had spiky hair, which is like really cool. <laughs> and so, six year old mastermind, Mr. Hayes, gets to thinking. He's like, oh, like, how can I have spiky hair just like my brother? It's like mm. defying gravity and everything, yeah? So, and then he comes up with the solution that he can take baby powder and then he just lathers it like all over his hair and like in hopes of styling. Now, a lot of people can see this as an accident or a tragedy, but I actually see it as an incentive. Even as a young child, Max took the initiative and he tried to figure out his own problems and he turned his questions into a reality. In addition to being an innovative thinker, Max also values the authentic and lasting aspects of life. His greatest role models in his life are his dad and his older brother. His dad leads a balanced lifestyle and he finds the middle ground between his business life and his fun, entertaining life. His brother proves to be a very good leader and a strong role model in a religious aspect as well. The, time, the first time Max realized how much his brother meant to him was at his brother's wedding when he was chosen as the best man and he presented his speech. Now, being chosen as a best man establishes a close bond between the brothers, and the fact that Max's greatest role models in his life are his family members emphasizes that he values his family members and he deeply cares about them. Max desires the genuine relationships in life, and he values <coughs> friends who have a really fun sense of humor, a willingness to engage in the same activities, and the ability to hang out with no pressure. If a fortune teller were to come up to Max and ask him, or tell him about his future, Max would actually deny this because it would take away the excitement to his life. He embraces the ambiguity of life, and he values the risks of it. Something he is extremely grateful for are the problems he didn't have. He was fortunate enough not to have any unfortunate circumstances. And before you guys go and call him like conceited and everything, because positive vibes, um, <laughs> Max acknowledges his parents' effort, and he never, ever takes advantage of them. It was due to his parents' own hard work that he was able to focus diligently on his own schoolwork and his social life with his friends. He realizes that he lived and still lives in a privileged society. 
And this awareness has led to the result of his own willingness to serve his future kids. And he desires to give his future children the childhood he once had as well. A diligent, enthusiastic, and humble man. That is what Max Lewis is. And not that these are positive attributes that only apply to him, but rather he uses these hard-earned qualities in ways that are unique to him. From the heart of his youth to the development of his heart and passion, Max has shown incredible stories and characteristics that once heard no one can doubt their existence. Why is no one special? Because nobody is entitled to more success than you. Face the reality of this because we are unique, and face the reality of this because you live in it. Thank you.